The opening ceremony of Exercise Cobra Gold, the event that officially starts this multinational exercise that's been going on for 31 years. In this auspicious moment, I do declare the field training exercise for Cobra Gold to well open. Hello! This year, an Oregon National Guard Battalion, two of the 162 Infantry, a unit that last year received a Presidential Unit Citation for its participation in the fight for Fallujah during the Iraqi War, has been invited to participate in Operation Cobra Gold, Thailand's premier military exercise. The Oregon Infantry Battalion is commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Eric Riley. He's proud of his soldiers, and he's proud to represent the National Guard in such an important military exercise. The Oregon soldiers have been training side by side with the Royal Thai Army, showing them tactics, techniques, and procedures in detainee ops, vehicle searches, mortar setup, and numerous other tasks. Yeah! Oh! U.S. and Thai soldiers also practice side by side in live fire exercise lanes. This involved movement to and assaulting an objective. During these lanes, the Thai soldiers augmented the training by laying down live mortar rounds, adding true realism to some of the best training available. Although training in the 90 degree heat and having to overcome language challenges, both U.S. and Thai soldiers learned valuable lessons and the morale is high. Well, they love it. I, I should say they love it because everyone's happy uh, because uh, like I say, a lot of new stuff they see. Exercises like Cobra Gold not only build bridges between soldiers, it stabilizes and strengthens bridges between nations. Reporting from Camp Friendship, Thailand, I'm Master Sergeant Tom Hovey.